Welcome back. So um, we're going to do um, a Shiva Shakti practice now. Um, we could use it as a relaxation, but really it's designed to be an energizing practice. Um, it's um, a Shavist Hindu practice. So uh, the Shavist religion, I suppose, uh, would predate Hinduism and it worshipped um, the principles of Shiva and Shakti. So Shiva is like the embodiment of sentient consciousness. He is a god, you know, in Hinduism, he's the god whose paradigm opens and unleashes chaos and lightning. And then Shakti, it means energy. So we're going to look at a way to combine that Shiva and Shakti and, and get it working in your body. So, um, make a start. If you would like to come to a comfortable seating, seated position like this, uh, easy cross leg pose or we can't see your legs. sitting back on, onto a chair with your back supported by the chair will be fine. The most important thing really is that your spine is nice and long, that you can visualize this long tube, like a crystal clear tube that would run from your anal sphincter all the way up through the crown of the head. Um, because this is where we're collecting energy uh, from the earth and from the sky. So um, you could um, visualize a white hot flame starting at your toes. This is an incandescent flame and allow the flame to rise up through your body and the purpose of this flame is to burn away all of your limiting self images, all of the concepts that you have that identify you as an individual. So allow the flame to rise up, consuming your limiting self thoughts. Let the flame continue all the way up until it comes to your solar plexus. Breathing deeply into the abdomen and being no rush to breathe out. So you want to breathe all the way down to the base of your spine, to your sacrum, your coccyx, your pelvic area, the pelvic girdle, your seat. And imagine filling up this whole area with a red and orange light. So this corresponds to where your base chakra is. Muladhara is colored red. Svadhasthana is colored orange and Manipura is colored yellow. So you want to hold that energy at the same place into the Manipura area where we hold our precious jewels, the place where a woman's womb is. Breathing in the energy of the earth up through the anal sphincter to the solar plexus. And now think about breathing in from the crown of the head. Breathing in violet and indigo light. Blue all the way down until it mixes with the yellow and increases the flame. So you're in your body, breathing deeply, connected to the sky, connected to the earth. And with the neck chin breath, you're going to lay the shoulders down and away from the ears, and then to the front of the neck, send the chin up towards the sky. Gather up that energy from creation from Shakti blended with the energy of your own Shiva, your mother, a Kundalini, your sacred spiritual serpent coils around this tube and we want to power it up so we can store all the energy in to your powerhouse, your Manipura area, your Solar plexus, warm, yellow, vibrant, white, 
heat grooves at the center of your body, a resource for you to draw on whenever you need it. It's always there. Let this radiate and glow, burn away your self-limiting thoughts so that you can be everything you can be. So I'd like to leave and end this practice with the image of a shining, brilliant diamond. Imagine your body in a state of shining diamond brilliance, radiating the energy and power of Shiva and Shakti in the center of your body. Your clothes are turning the palms to face up, spread out into the fingers. And as you breathe in, imagine your rainbow of light, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And breathe out, indigo. Violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, last one, breathe in, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. Your hands touch, extend the arms, point up into the fingers, then open the eyes and look up to the thumbs. And as you breathe out, lowering your hands past your forehead for peace in your thoughts and your lips for truth from your lips. And to the heart center, Anahata, loving heart.